I love you 3000. Hello everyone and welcome to the Super Asylum channel. Today I actually found something interesting on the BuzzFeed website which really really surprises me. But there's something interesting here. It says 50% of these Marvel facts are true and 50% are made up. Can you tell which are which? So note, this quiz includes MCU movies and also other Marvel movies and characters which will probably be X-Men and Fantastic Four. Now, if you proceed to enjoy this video, give it a like and if you have seen a lot of my other videos and you enjoyed them, please hit that subscribe button because it is free and it really, really helped me out. But enough of selling out, let's just go right into the quiz. So, Iron Man was the first film in the MCU, which is true. Now, it was correct. Iron Man was the first movie specifically in the MCU. The first ever movie to feature a Marvel character was in 1944 ser serial film Captain America. Return of Captain America. Ho Jensen is secretly the leader of a Ten Rings cell. Now, what is a Ten Rings cell? I mean, is this? Oh, this is the first Iron Man movie, so this one doesn't doesn't feature. What's it called, Mandarin? So, I mean, I don't know what Ten Rings sell. I'm gonna go false, but it's probably true. No, okay. So what is the Ten Rings? It was actually a prisoner of the Ten Rings. Oh, so that was the terrorist organization. He also credited it with starting the MCU because without him, there would be no Iron Man. Well, <laughs> that is true. Don Cheadle was replaced by Terence Howard as Rhodey. That is true, and it's it's pretty notable, man. <laughs> they look nothing alike. What? What the fuck? Was it the opposite? Don Cheadle was replaced. Oh yeah! Oh, oh my god, I'm an idiot. Of course, it was the other way around. I I just read the question wrong. Don Cheadle was the one who replaced Terence Howard as Rhodey. So Don Cheadle was replaced. Ah, okay. I didn't read that was, I just saw Don Cheadle replaced, but replaces, I don't know what I read. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, let's start over. All right, so I have rectified my mistake. It is, of course, false. Don Cheadle didn't replace Terrence. Wait, yes, he did replace Terrence. Terrence didn't replace Don. Now, Terrence Howard must be punching air right now because Don Cheadle probably is rich as shit right now. <laughs> playing War Machine. Next up, we have Howard Stark. Tony Stark's father created Captain America's shield using vibranium. Now, I know for a fact that he has a shield lying around. Tony Stark has a shield lying around. And he obviously uses it to put it under those pipes. Now, I do not know or remember if it was vibranium. I don't think it was. I think it wasn't Vibranium because I believe maybe Vibranium was introduced in Black Panther. So, and I believe that Captain America gets a new shield when the other one breaks. And that one is Vibranium. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is false. I mean, it could be true. It, it seems plausible, but I'm gonna go fake. Oh, it is true. Okay. He did, but it wasn't his first choice since the metal was so rare and they used all they had in making the shield oh is this from captain america the movie captain america first avenger it's been so long since i watched that movie i did not think it was vibranium so vibranium has been been there all along it wasn't introduced with black panther all right here we have another question the hulk's first movie appearance was outside of the mcu which is true i mean i don't know how far back they go with the hulk but we have hulk you know, the movie from 2003 or whatever. I mean, it depends on... If they include Edward Norton's movie, then this movie was a part of the MCU, but if they choose uh, choose the 2003 Hulk movie, then he was, was outside the MCU, and that has nothing to do with the MCU, so I'm gonna go false because The Incredible Hulk is a part of the MCU. For what? True? The first movie about the Hulk outside of the MCU was The Hulk starring Eric Bana. So far there's only been one movie about the Hulk within the MCU, The Incredible Hulk starring Edward Norton. What? I mean, using my logic, if you go back about 20 seconds then I should have gotten this question right. They should have formulated this question better. 
Nick Fury makes a cameo in The Incredible Hulk to ask Bruce if he wants to join the Avengers. I don't think that's true. Yeah, that's false. He doesn't make an appearance, but Tony Stark does. He mentions th that he is putting a team together. This, mu this must be the end of the Hulk movie, The Incredible Hulk movie. Eric Killmonger Stevens, real name is Jandaka Now, I have no idea, I have absolutely no clue. Eric Stevens might just be his real name man, but he doesn't seem too fond of, you know, colonization and shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's true. Yeah. He reveals his name when he's brought to Wakanda and then makes a claim to the throne. I'm surprised I got it right. That was a 50-50 chance. Now I just spoke about this in the last episode of this shit. The BuzzFeed <laughs> quizzes. It's a series now I guess. The Jabari tribe worships the Pater God, Bast. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. So, I said that this guy, he can't become Black Panther because if you... To become Black Panther, you have to worship the Panther God, uh, which is Bast, apparently. So, the Jabari tribe worships the Panther God, which is false because they don't. The Jabari tribe worship the Ape God, Hanuman. The actors who play young and older version of King Chaka are related in real life. Now, how is this, re this related to the movies, man? I mean, come on now. How am I supposed to know if they are related? I mean, they don't look alike, but it's probably true. I mean, I don't see why they would they would um, introduce this question without them being related in real life. So I'm going to go through. But this is probably a strict question and it's false, but I'm going to go through. I mean, they look nothing alike. Using that logic, they look nothing alike. I would go false, but just the severe weirdness of the question, I'm going to go through. Yeah, it is true. John Candy and Mr. Candy are actually father and son. They also acted on stage together as Caliban and Ariel in The Tempest. Wow, that that is interesting. <laughs> I just said they looked nothing alike. And I must be looking a fool right now. There are six Infinity Stones and they are named Mind... Space, heart, time, power, and reality. I know for a fact that there is no, no heart stone. So the six infinity stones are called. Well, I don't remember <laughs> off the top of my head. The six stones are named mind. Well, the mind stone, the space stone, the time stone, the power stone, the reality stone, and the soul stone. Now, what did they name up here? We have the mind stone. Is there a mind stone? Oh, there's a mind stone. We yeah, have, well, there's no space stone. Oh, what? There's a space stone. Oh, yeah, time and space, I guess. The heart stone, the time stone, power stone, reality stone. Oh, they forgot the soul stone here. So, one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six stones. Oh, okay. Speaking of infinity stones, the space stone was the first one to show up in the MCU. So, if the space stone is the blue stone, then. It is true because I believe it made an appearance in Thor, the Thor movies, and maybe Iron Man movies as well. So I'm gonna go through. Yeah, the first appearance, or the first, it first appeared in Thor inside of the Tesseract. Yeah, yeah, that was was the whole premise of Thor. Loki was looking for the the stone for Thanos. He worked with Thanos, I believe. Thor's hammer's name is Bifrost, no it's not, it's Mjolnir. The Bifrost is the bridge. Thor's hammer's name is Mjolnir. According to Thor, there are seven realms with Earth being one of them. Um, probably true, we have Vanaheim, we have Svart somethingheim, we have Earth, I guess, is that a realm? We have Man, I played Thor Ragnarok, man. What's the giant sound called? I'm gonna go through. I, I just can't remember. Um, it's false, probably, but I'm gonna go through. No, it is false. Okay, there are nine realms in total, with Asgard being the head of all of them. Yeah. My, 
my Norse mythology lore isn't great. Spider-Man Far From Home was the last film in phase 3 of the MCU. I have no idea. I didn't even know it was in phase 3 to be honest. But I think it's false. No, Far From Home ends. I mean, maybe? It could be plausible. No, it's not plausible. Because Far From Home ends and then No Way Home takes place right after. But I don't believe that No Way Home is the first movie in phase 4. I believe it's, the, it's Black Widow, but let's see here. Spider-Man Fire From Home, what movie came after that? Not Ant-Man and the Wasp, right? That became, I'm gonna go through, it's probably false. Oh, it's true, okay, right, cool, man. It was the last film in Phase 3, which was complete compromised of 11 movies in total. The first movie in Phase 4 was Black Widow, followed by Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, and then, of course, Eternals and... No way home. Alright, now we are getting into Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. Now, I haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse, but Miles Morales got his powers from a radi radiation explosion and not from a spider bite. I'm gonna go false. Yeah. As with all versions of Spider-Man, he was indeed bitten by a radioactive spider. Yeah, otherwise he would probably be become Hulk. J.K. Simmons has played J. Jonah Jameson in every single live-action Spider-Man film that the character has appeared in. Whoa. Now. I'm not sure. Was J. Jonah Jameson in the Amazing Spider-Man movies? I feel like it was, but it's not played by J.K. Simmons. I know that J.K. Simmons has been in obviously the original Sam, Sam Raimi movies and in the Home trilogy. Now, I don't remember if he was in The Amazing Spider-Man. If he was in The Amazing Spider-Man, then he would probably be, you know, memorized. Which leads me to believe that it is false. I'm gonna go through. Okay, yeah, cool. J.K. Simmons has played J. Jonah Jameson in each Spider-Man film, including those aside of the MCU. I mean, that's where he started. Like, <laughs> what? Natasha Romanov and Bruce Banner have a secret child to get. No, they don't. Come on now. They don't have any kids together. In fact, both are sterile as a result of Hulk's condition and that's required sterilization as part of the Red Room's policy. Wow. That is kind of messed up, man. Black Widow's name is actually Natalia, not Natasha. Hmm. It might be true. I think she used a fake name. No, wait, what? I always believed that her name was Natasha Romanov. Romanov. But in Iron Man 2, I believe her name was Natalia. But that was obviously a cover name, so I'm gonna go with Black Widow's name is actually Natalia, not Natasha. Which is I'm con I don't I have no idea man. Is it true? Okay. Her name is actually Natalia. Alianova Romanov, but she goes by Natasha. Then why why does her sister go by Yelena something completely different, Belova, or something like that? Nick Fury looking <laughs> looking like um what's it called? Lawrence Fishburne. It looks like Lawrence Fishburne right there, man. Nick Fury lost his sight in his left eye due to a scratch from an alien while flying back to Earth. False. He lost his eye due to a cat, apparently, in Captain Marvel. What? Oh. Goose, a flurkin, scratches Nick Fury, leaving him blind in his left eye. What? Is this cat an alien? Nick Fury lost his sight in his left eye due to a scratch from an alien while flying back to her. Wow, the cat is an alien? Captain Marvel was born with her powers. Nah, I think, she was, I think she was conditioned or something. Yeah, she absorbs energy from the Tesseract after sh shooting it to keep Yon Rock from taking it, but she lost her memory in the process, yeah. So the Tesseract was here. So I guess the first appearance of the Tesseract wasn't in Tor. Well, chronologically it was, but time-wise it wasn't. I mean, if she has the Tesseract right here, then how come it wasn't Thor when it explodes? 
and if she absorbs the energy from the Tesseract, then how? They should release it again at the end of the movie into that little box. And if they had the Tesseract all along, then why didn't they protect it? Maria Rambeau and Monica Rambeau are mother and daughter. I mean, I have no clue. This looks like it's from Captain Marvel. I mean, it could be true, it could be plausible. But I haven't seen the movie, so I'm probably gonna say false. They are probably <laughs> the granddaughters or siblings or something. No, it's true, okay. They are mother and daughter. In Captain Marvel, you see Monica as a young girl, but in Mother Vision, she's all grown up. Interesting, interesting. I haven't seen any of those shows. Charles Xavier becomes paralyzed after being shot by Wolverine. False. In X Men First Class, he becomes paralyzed from the waist down after being shot accidentally by Magneto. Oh, he ricocheted the bullet. That's crazy. However, in the comics, he loses his ability to walk after having a stone dropped on top of him by an alien named Lucifer, so the devil. Interesting. We first see Magneto use his ability to control metal while working on on a Volkswagen assembly line in 1930s. Now, how, how am I supposed to remember this? Probably true? No, false? Okay. Magneto first uses his power as a young Jewish prisoner at the Auschwitz concentration camp after being separated from his parents. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's been such a long time since I watched the X-Men movies. I knew that. Doesn't he also use the coin to to penetrate the skull of some human to kill him? Mantis got her name because she was once a praying mantis before Ego gave her a human form. I mean, how on earth? No freaking way, man. No freaking way. Yeah, <laughs> she was never a praying mantis. Yeah, that, that would be weird. Ego, Peter Quill's father, killed Meredith, Peter's mother, because she posed a distraction to his plans and she could bring Peter. Peter to his planet. I mean, if she isn't evil and like Peter Quill talks to his father right there, then I do not believe that he will kill his wife. And if he did, then I think Star Lord will be pretty angry about it. So I'm gonna say false that Ego, Peter Quill's father, killed Meredith. I'm gonna say false. No, it is to what? It's a psychopath? Ego gave Meredith cancer so that he could use Peter, being half celestial, to activate the seedlings he planted on other worlds. It broke my heart to put the tumor in her head. Wow, okay, so he, he's actually weird. So he's a villain, I guess? I mean, yeah, Peter Quill is half celestial. So her, is her mother, which is his mother, celestial? A celestial? Is she gonna appear in the Eternals? We're in the Eternals. The Mandarin is the real leader of the Ten Rings. I mean, he's not a terrorist. He's just some dude, isn't he? Yeah. He's just an actor named Trevor Sl Slattery, hired by Venvu, the real leader of the Ten Rings. Yeah. And I believe that the real Mandarin is. Well, this isn't the real Mandarin. And. I don't believe that Eldritch Killian, Killian is the real Mandarin as well. I believe the real Mandarin was in Shang-Chi, but Samu, Samu Liu Samu, Sam, Simu Liu sings on the Shang-Chi soundtrack. I mean, it's probably true. <laughs> yeah, he does. He sings the song Hot Soup on the soundtrack. Wow. I mean, one thing is interesting that the terrorist group in Iron Man are named the Ten Rings and Shang-Chi is literally called Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So is there a connection there? Shailing makes a cameo in Black Panther when T'Challa, Naki, Nakia and Oyoko visit Busan, South Korea. True? No false, okay. I don't care. She does not make a cameo. In fact, this is Meng Shang. His first ever Hollywood film. Wow, interesting. I was going to go with false because I've never seen number one in the MCU. Josh Brolin is the only actor to play more than one Marvel character on film. I mean, he does play Thanos, he does play Cable, but that's false. Other actors include Michelle Yule, who plays Alita Ogord, a Ravager captain in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and Ying Nan in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. There's also 
Gemma Chan who plays Minerva, Minerva in Captain Marvel and Cersei in Eternals and Chris Evans who plays Captain America and the Human Torch in the Fantastic Four movies. And finally the entire MCU so far takes place over the course of 20 years. We have the first movie timeline wise I believe is either Captain Marvel or Black Widow and I believe that Captain Marvel takes place in the 70s so that would be make it what just from 70s to 2000 is like 20 years so yeah what what Captain America the first Avenger takes place in the 1940s and Shang-Chi takes place around around 23 how is that not more than 20 years And finally, the entire MCU so far takes place over the course of... Oh! Oh! I thought this said... Not over the course of... I think... I thought this said... Over the course of... 20 plus years, obviously. And finally, the entire MCU so far takes place over the course of 20... Yeah, yeah, obviously not. I mean, I just used logic there, so... I'm gonna say that's true. Captain America, the first event... Oh yeah, Captain America, the first Avenger. I forgot about that. Takes place, takes place in the First World War, obviously. So Captain America, the first Avenger, takes place in the 1940s. And Shang-Chi takes place in 2023-2024. This rounds out to 70 plus years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Alright, 50% of these Marvel facts are true. Okay. You scored better than 30% of all other quiz takers. Well, well. You definitely picked up some major movie details. And for that, you deserve a pat on the back. I think it's pretty... I think I did decently, but I would like to get at least 25. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to see more, and yeah, I will of course link this in the description so you can test it out for yourself, and I'll see you later.